friends welcome back to my channel I'm Gina and today we're going to be continuing on creating the interior for this Victoria mansion which is a bit of a fusion um, with a 70s style on the inside so today we're going to be working on the ground floor we've got quite a bit to get through so we're going to do the flooring the wall coverings um, both with wallpaper and paint we're going to be doing some architraves skirting boards and as well as some window coverings as well i'm also going to go through uh, how i've created the doors and also the hinges which tend to be quite um, small and fiddly so hopefully that comes out okay so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and um, if you're wanting to carry along with this project um, don't forget to like and subscribe okay so like I say we've got a lot to get through so let's get started So to begin with I've just printed off uh, the wall coverings and as well as the flooring so I'm just separating them out into the different rooms and to begin with we're going to start off with the kitchen area so this is the flooring as well as the wall covering. Once this flooring is glued into place on the foundation there, uh, the only additional step that I take is that once it's dry, I put a coat of gloss Mod Podge over the top of the pattern just to seal it and also to add a bit of sheen um, on this flooring. This is the same process that I take for all of the hard flooring on this level. So the kitchen that you can see here, the entranceway that's in the middle and then the dining room to the right hand side. Moving on to the wall coverings, uh, this is exactly the same process as the floor. So all I've done is cut the wallpaper, it's just all one sheet, uh, and just cut that to size on each of the walls and then just using Mod Podge to stick it down. For all of the walls I'm just going to use exactly the same process, 
So gluing the wall coverings into place and then cutting the windows and door openings out after. So I have two greens to choose from, one is a slightly darker green, one is a slightly brighter green and this is for the bay window. So going off the wall covering, I'm going to go with the slightly darker green and just paint two coats into the windows area of the bay window. Bay window area um, I've painted the inside of that wall green as well I'm just going to trace around the architrave I was debating whether to square this off or whether to keep um, the detail in here and I've decided to keep the detail because I think it's actually quite a nice feature As we've got a 70s interior which is modern and also because of the scale of the project I'm keeping the skirtings completely straight and then painting them up to match the architraves in each of the rooms. So in the dining room it is green, in the entranceway we're using brown and in the kitchen is white. So the white I'm not actually using any paint colour, I'm just using the leaving the board um, just in the white colour that it is. So now moving on to the fun part of the project, um, the bit that you love to hate. So this is actually creating the hinges for the doors. So what I've got here is a bit of um, drawing paper, so it's slightly thicker than copy paper but not as thick as cardstock. And um, all I'm doing here is just cutting some very fine strips. Now I know that this is going to get really small really quickly, so hopefully there's um, enough, you can see enough detail in it to be able to get an idea of the project. I've also used the same process in the vanity, the Adams Family vanity. Um, so if, it, um, if you get lost on this one, have a look at that one, um, it also may help us as well. So we've got two doors, so basically we need um, two hinges per door and each hinge requires um, two parts to the hinge. So one is uh, fixed to the door and one is fixed to the wall. So obviously we need eight pieces all together, so uh, two doors four hinges all together and then each hinge has two parts to it so there's four so there's eight pieces all together so i'm just using some wire it's about the same as a paper clip and i'm just going to cut some lengths 
So I just kind of cut four lengths, which is the part of the hinge that pieces of paper are fixed to. And then I'm just going to cut one extra length um, to wrap the hinge around, or sorry, wrap the paper around um, to create the other part of the hinge. So to begin the hinges, what we're going to do is take one piece of the wire and um, a piece of the paper, so they're all the same length, and what we're going to aim to do is wrap roughly around about half the length of that piece of paper around the wire, and we want to make sure that the wire is actually glued to the piece of paper, and that when you wrap it around that piece of wire, um, that it's as tight as possible. What I'm doing here is just wrapping it around the middle part of the wire so then I can choose later on which part that I want to uh, cut off. Once the part of the hinge is complete, we're going to move on to the other half of the hinge. Now, with the first part is all glued to the wire, this part is not glued to the wire. So we want to make sure that the wire from the uh, first part of the hinge that we've created will move freely around this part of the hinge and therefore be able to move. So all I'm doing here is wrapping it around and then placing a, a smaller piece of glue and then slipping it off the wire. And I'm just going to repeat this for all the four parts of that hinge and then just let them dry. For the windows, all I've done here is cut the piece of plastic slightly bigger than the window itself but smaller than the architrave and then I'm just peeling off the coat of plastic that it, covering that it's got on one side, it's actually got covering on both sides and then just using a bit of, um, it's kind of a fabric glue but I find that it just uh, sticks the plastic um, to the wall covering quite nicely. Because I've stuck the window on the inside, what I'm going to use is a sharpie to mark out where the um, details of the window are just before I put on the um, architrave around the window and this just helps to add a little bit more detail. So now that all the hinges have dried, what we can actually start to do is put them all together. So we've got the architrave for the door, which is going to help keep the hinges in place. Before I uh, glue the two parts of the door, or the two sides of the door together, what I need to do is make some room for the paper to fit in between the two layers, otherwise it's going to bulge out a little bit. Even though it's only thin paper, it still will actually um, bulge out a little bit. As the doors are made of matte board, what I'm going to do is just mark out where the hinges are going to go, and I'm going to remove the top layer of paper 
So that will make room for the hinges to actually fit in and then the two door parts to glue together um, nice and flat. So after cleaning up the hinges a little bit with any leftover glue and then dry fitting them into place, now I can cut the hinges down to the size that I'm looking for and then just making sure that one side is actually cut quite flush with the hinge and then the other side we want to make sure that there's enough of a post left over for the other half of the hinge so then we can make sure that the door opens and closes as smoothly as possible.
that kitchen door is finishing off drying we can move on to the uh, dining room door which is one that I prepared earlier. Um, so now that we've got the hinges attached to the door and cut down to size what we can now do is actually fit it into place. And note um, those hinges that are not attached to the door that um, don't have any wire in them we're going to actually tuck them underneath the architrave and so before we actually do that I'm just going to glue them into place with just this, a little spot of glue and then place the um, architrave over the top and then that'll just secure the whole thing into place. So hopefully you enjoyed that video and uh, if you'd like to see more of what I create this is one of the projects we've also got the Adams family which is uh, mentioned which is behind me and so there'll be some more on that coming up in this year as well I'm keen to create some furniture so there's lots of things coming up um, for 2022 please subscribe if you're wanting to keep up to date push that notification bell and don't forget to like this video so yeah we'll catch you in the next one Ooh.